guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a quick fill-in haul from Kroger. If you are new to our channel, you may not know that we are in the middle of a pantry challenge, which means I'm trying to do minimal shopping and the grocery items that I am buying are being used um, to prepare meals that we already have on hand. And so let me jump into this um, grocery haul with you guys. I spent a grand total of $40.07 and I have my Kroger rewards card. So I got um, about $10 in savings. So. Let me jump in and show you what I picked up this week. So I picked up some milk for Howard. He pretty much eats, eats cereal um, during the weekday um, before he goes to work. So he needed some milk. So I got him some milk. And then we are grilling out hamburgers pretty soon. And so um, he wanted a tomato for his burger and an avocado. So I picked him up those things. They had a sale on their chopped salad kits and they were three for $10 each, but I only picked up two. Um, so I got this one, which is new from Taylor Farms. It's a roasted chopped kit. And here are the ingredients. It has romaine, shredded broccoli, red cabbage, um, crouton crumble, celery, smoked white cheddar cheese, green onion, parsley, and a creamy garlic dressing. That sounded really good to me. And here is, oops, here is what it looks like in the package. And then I also picked up the Taylor Farms Caesar Chopped Kit. We've had this before. Romaine lettuce, um, cheese and garlic crouton crumbles, and Parmesan cheese. And you can see some of the packages through the um, bag right there. And then for the burgers, I picked up some Hawaiian, uh, King's Hawaiian hamburger buns. Howard is really a big fan of their buns and I don't buy them very often. Usually I'm too cheap <laughs> and I just buy the store brand hamburgers, um, but I decided to pick these up today. Kroger had a sale on their um, apple juice. Um, actually, it wasn't just apple juice, it was apple juice and a couple of other items, but it was one of those things where you had to buy four of um, a particular set of items in order to get the discount. So um, I needed some apple juice. So this apple juice that you see right here, the treetop, I got those each, um, I got those for 97 cents each because I got four participating items. And the other participating item that I got um, in order to get these for 97 cents were Fritos, and I'll show you those in a second. But um, it was 97 cents for this pineapple orange uh, treetop juice, which I thought was a really good deal, 64 ounces. And then I also got just the regular apple juice. And then I got treetop uh, pressed apple juice with three um, different apple blends. Again, those were 97 cents. The other thing that I picked up on sale was the DiGiorno pizza. So you had to download the digital coupon in order to get this, but I paid $2.99 for each pizza, which you know is a really good deal. We got the hand-tossed Primo pepperoni and the hand-tossed um, Supreme pizza. I also picked up some Tostitos um, queso. So I have some tortilla chips in the pantry. And of course we always have ground beef. So one night we're gonna have nachos, but I did not have any queso. So I grabbed some queso for nachos one night. These are the Fritos that I was telling you about. So these Fritos ended up being $1.77 because I got three of the apple juices. So got some Fritos. And I prefer the lightly salted over just the regular ones. And then let me show you what I was most excited about. I am a huge peanut brittle person. And I have tried to make my own homemade peanut brittle, but it didn't turn out. So I was very excited to see this Betty Crocker brittle mix, um, peanut brittle mix, I should say. No mixing needed. I don't know what that means, but of course you guys know I am going to film a video and show you um, 
how it turns out, what it tastes like, and if it's worth it. So got this peanut brittle mix, and we needed a battery because last night our smoke detector started chirping, and I don't know why smoke detectors always go out in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, they never go out during the afternoon when you're wide awake. So anyway, we needed a battery for the smoke detector and another great deal um, that Kroger had, if you downloaded their digital coupon, was you can get this um, Tide Pods, or not this, these Tide Pods. They were $1.49 for 13 packs. And I've never tried it before, so I hope it works. But anyway, I like Tide, so um, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And again, these were $1.49, you could get up to five, but I just picked up two. So anyway, this is all that I picked up for the haul. Like I said, really not trying to go crazy because we really are trying to use what we already have on hand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time.